Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Hello, friend. Hello, Francisco, Hi. Melissa, Emma, Daniel. How's everything? Are you guys ready for today's session? Yeah. Great. Great to hear that. Okay. So, how was your day, Melissa? How was your day? Making money. <laughs> Hi, was... teacher. Hi. How was am... your? I was very tired because I have. Uh, much, much, many work or much work. A lot of work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of work. It's, I see. That's a blessing. <laughs> Having a lot of work is <laughs> a blessing because you can, I don't know, <laughs> there might be people who don't have a job. <laughs> you see, and you do, and you have more than, than, than enough. So welcome, Emma, welcome, Melissa, welcome, Francisco, and welcome, Joel, to our session. Today, we're going to have our session number, um, this is session number five, okay? And so we are going to start with our new, well, we started yesterday. Emma, do you have a question? Yeah. Well, I have to do something in right now want to enter the class because she doesn't have internet connection right now. Okay. All right. I see. Thank you so much for letting me know. Really appreciate that. Okay. So let's see. Let me um, then share the screen for our class. This is second, please. I'm just doing this for you guys. One second. Here we go. All right, session number five. And uh, okay, this is a new section, session five, section two, career moves, okay? And let me ask you a quick question. What is your dream, like a uh, career? Are you, or have you graduated um, on your uh, dream the career or or do you still are you still studying are you pursuing any 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 specific well can you tell me about it if you are already uh, a professional are you happy with your uh, current profession or do you have any, or do you have a second option? If you are a student, are you happy with your decision? Um, what's your case? Talk to me, please. Teacher, in my case, I want you to be a flight attendant. Yes, it's Aeromosa, right? Yes, flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Yes, but... I study marketing degree. <laughs> mm, I but guess. I really is it's very nice my career. Mm -hmm. It's interesting and is very important. And if you can uh, uh, have to have a business. Exactly like in your case, right? you know how to manage right your own business okay that's that's really cool okay i see so then anybody else who would like to share what's your case what can you tell me about it are you happy with your decision taken hi teacher yes tell me well well i i when i when i was a kid my dream was to be an astronaut. And this is a little bit crazy in this country, but I'm still dreaming about it. So you want to go to the moon? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sounds interesting. Okay, right. Uh, well, everything is possible, you know. You also, can... also, I want to be a cowboy. A cowboy, okay. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. 
maybe because of the way they wear, or I don't know. Maybe for watching too much Toy Story. So good is the, uh, the guilty. Yes. Uh, okay, good. Thank you so much for sharing, okay? Anybody else? Any other idea? Or do you think personality matters when making a decision on which career to study? For example, can anyone be a doctor? Can anybody be, I don't know, maybe a nurse? <laughs> sure, in my case, I wanted to be a lawyer, but it's something complicated. And I decided to just finish the school and learn English. But uh, when I was 80, 18 years old, I wanted to take a career. Being a lawyer, Francisco, is, uh, I don't know, but I think it's a career or a major which you, which requires, I think, uh, a lot of reading because of laws, right? But then, I don't know, how old, if you don't mind sharing, of course, how old are you? Um, 22. 22. You can still go for it. Yeah, you're really young. <laughs> I started the university when I was 21. And I remember my mother used to tell me, don't do it. Because uh, she said it's five year plus the, the year of specialization. And I said, no, I'm going to do it. So I did it. That was, and I graduated on 2018. So I graduated for my career. Or my, uh, that was almost four years ago. So time really flies. And so if I, I began to study when I was 21, you were 22, just the right age to go for a bachelor about laws. So go for it, man, come on. Learn English and go for it. And then you're going to be divorcing people, you know, getting them out of this, <laughs> yeah. getting, them, getting them out of this problem. Okay, um, thank you so much for sharing, Francisco. Emma, are you on the um, on the one you want you want to be? <laughs> I saw you. Yeah, yeah. I like my career. Like, okay, you are studying aeronautics, right? Remember? Yes. Okay. okay, that's good. And Angie, are you happy with your um, current level or academic level? Yes. You're a yes. teacher, right? Yeah. Okay. Kindergarten teacher. Oh, I see. Is, is it your birthday today? No, no. <laughs> mm. My daughter's birthday. Mm, okay. I thought you were turning 15 or so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. And how are you feeling? Feeling a lot better? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank All you right. for asking. Okay. Great to hear Did that. Did you eat cake? What? Angie, did you uh, eat cake? What? What he say? Did you eat cake? Ah uh, no 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 because uh yeah. the doctor say I can eat cake. Okay, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but... I thought you had some leftovers, you know, some sobras around, and you can send them over. <laughs> Okay, but thank you so much, I can see. Well, guys, today we have these topics, two topics, actually. One, which is, we have these objectives. I uh, welcome Gustavo, thank you for turning your camera on. Can you help us by reading these two class objectives? Um, by the end of this class, you will learn about the best jobs based on personality types. Personality types. By the end of this class, participants will learn how to use gerund phrases and as subjects 
and objects. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, that's today's topic, uh, best jobs, right? Based on personality types and also uh, germ phrases. Okay, maybe this is a, not a new topic, but it's a good topic to discuss. Okay, so let's get started. Let's, uh, we have this question. And so maybe you already answered it on the platform, but I still want you to maybe it takes some time to watch the video. Okay, so these are the two questions. Maybe you want to write them down, but if you already have the answer, awesome. So what type of personality type you are based on the video that we're going to watch in a minute and what type of job you do? Okay, once again, maybe you want a screenshot or write, write it down. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds for you to write these two questions down because I'm going to play the video once again in case you have already watched the video. Okay, so what personality type you are, what type of job you do. Based on the video, guys, we're gonna listen to it in a minute. Hi, Emma, nice to see you, Emma. You have your camera on, it's cool. All right, so let's see, here we go. Let me share the screen for personality type. Have you guys uh, watched this video? The one on the platform? Yes, have you done it? Yes, about okay. the talking, both, right. both uh -huh. two persons. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I saw it. Who else besides Joel? Who else has watched this video? Only Joel? Okay, then we're going to watch it in a minute. It, it, it's not that long, so we can see it. Here we go. One second. Welcome to Matheson College. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. Okay, the resolution of the video is really bad, so I apologize, but it's the video, it's not the connection. Not the connection. It's the yes, video. it is. Here we go. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay, so how many personality types are there? There are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. 
They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Alden, thank you for sharing this information. Hey, all right. So this is the question. Actually, this video is really interesting. You know, everything they say, it's really good and interesting information. So what type of personality you are based on the one they said? Or you consider, right? Let's, because uh, there's always one that you feel more identified with. So which one is it? And let's see if you are doing the job corresponding to the personality that you, you have chosen or you, you will say. These are the personality types I, I provided them yesterday. Artist, let me see. First one is uh, artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, and realistic. And then we have social. So these are the ones. So which one, guys? Now let's go back to the questions. These are the two questions. Uh, what type of personality you are? If you have to, if you have to choose one from these, which one best describes you? and tell us what you do. And if it is, I don't know, maybe um, corresponding to the personality type you, uh, you have chosen or not. So what's your case? Go ahead, please. Raise your hand to participate. Please try to speak as much as you can. There are 11 connected. So who wants to start? Mm -hmm. Only one. Come on. Well, I think uh, the best or the personality type that best describe me is this because I do this and I do that. And you just go ahead and share it. Maybe. Only one. Angie, go ahead, please. Thank you for sharing. Okay. What personality type um, am I? Social, what type of job of job um, I do? I am a teacher. And I think it's a match because I have to I have to to be with a lot of uh, person, not only the students. I have to share with with, with the with the parents, with my boss, with, with all my partners. And that's it. Right. Thank you so much. It makes a lot of sense what you are saying. Exactly. Being a teacher requires these skills. And so you have identified really nice and accurate. Okay. So anybody else? Any other opinion besides Angie's one? Melissa, what's your case? In my case, I my personality 
is um, inter interpreting because uh, they are independent and I have a little business and I like business. And so I like the marketing and is, uh, I think that is apply to my personality. Yeah, when I saw that type of personality enterprise and I said, this is, this is exactly for you, Melissa, because you are uh, this type of person who loves, you know, business. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? What's your case? Okay, uh, Joel, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh... I'm not really sure about my personality per, personality type. Maybe I'm switching in between them, among them. Um, but maybe I like the invest, investigative, investigative because I care about the details and I try to be analytical when thinking. And I also love doing researches. So maybe that's my type of personality. personality. But I'm, as I told you, I'm changing in, in be, be, between artistic and the other ones. And the second question, what type of job I do? Um, as I told you, I work in a call center. So I take calls about issues, about money transfers. And I try to figure it out, uh, the case. And if I don't have the tools or I can't, I scale it with my, with my supervisor, with my boss. So that's why I love the details because I have to ask a lot of uh, a lot of details to to so, so to figure it out the situation about the money you know I don't know if you, you I was clear with my example clear yeah clear enough clear yeah very okay. very clear Thanks. yeah that was really good I can see and yeah sometimes we can like have maybe divided ideas onto what uh because these are only let's say a uh, personality types based on the, this video but then if you investigate there are other personality types which might fit better to your own to your personality but then now the point is just to try to think about one that best describes you and i think you have done it you know really cool because you have identified what you do and also you you said why you think this is the one if you love researching you know it has to do with this one investigative okay so let's but, but i yeah. hate mm -hmm. i want to add something i hate yeah. mathematics you so. hate numbers <laughs> uh, i hate them but 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 i i don't know it's confusing okay there i don't know maybe something happened when you were younger any math teacher scared you or something because <laughs> numbers is pure science and we need to mm -hmm. know. <laughs> okay good thank you so much for sharing uh well appreciate that so let's see emma what's your case emma well i think that i have a investigative personality because i really like to investigate and it's part of the in my engineer career i have to learn about many kind of things that i need to know well i must to know i must know and i'm i think that i have a realistic personality too and that's all because i'm not social and i don't have an artistic personality I don't like business and sometimes I have to do some things about business, but it's something that I don't like. But I think the best for me is investigative because I really like that. I have this impression. I have never seen you in person, but I think uh, you are this type of girls who are really like, quiet um i don't know but then with a lot of potential you know assertive i don't know i think i have that feeling i don't know i'm not a psychologist at all but then um and also your career 
do you like dancing, Emma? Any type of music? Do you like dancing? Uh, well, I used to dance, but not all kinds of music. Mm. Well, I don't listen to reggaeton and street and things like that because I don't like it. But I like like salsa and merengue. I really like that. Salsita. Okay. I thought you were going to go to Bad Bunny, you know, concert. No. <laughs> I know you were you wouldn't spend money on that that thing. It's not even a concert. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. We need to move on. Or is there anyone else who would like to share your case, your personality type, and what you do? Anybody else? Well, I think uh, we can have some personality type and work very well in some other areas. I think for my case, for example, I'm, I'm seeing um, a, a conventional personality type. I work as a software developer, but also I have worked as web developer and image developer for a design boutique and uh, I did very well. Uh, also, I have uh, worked as um, a repair, repairing equipment, and I also did very well. And also, start my own company, but I had to left. But uh, it was very well. I think. Mm, the personality no don't define uh, of jobs, but maybe uh, in, enforce some aspect, but it's not basic to roll personality. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah, you're right. It affects, right? But it might not be like the hundred percent you are this personality, you cannot be anything else. So yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing. Guys, we are going to move on, okay? And this is a new topic that we're going to switch uh, all at once. So I'm sorry for this um, change like this. We are going to study today, as uh, Gustavo read at the beginning, some gerund phrases. We're going to use gerunds as subject and gerunds as objects. If you have seen this on the on the platform, great. But if you have no problem, we're going to study it today. So um, let's see what what are some gerunds spelling rules that you know or you remember. Do you know any gerund spelling rules? Or what is a gerund to begin with? What's a gerund? When, when add the ing. Thank you so much. When we add ing. And what are the spelling rules that we have when we need or want to change a basic form of a verb into an ing form? Is there any rule that we need to consider that you can tell? What, what have you, I don't know, seen or investigated about this? Any spelling rules? Is an action in present? Yes, well, it has to do with that. It's an action in present. It's a germ, which is taking place in the present. And then what about spelling rules? When I say spelling, it means the way we write it down. Is there anything that we we'll have to consider when we uh, convert basic verbs into germ forms? Or we just, or we simply add ing and ask, okay, have you, I don't know, seen or studied this before, guys? No? I saw this topic about two years ago, and I don't, to be honest with you, I don't remember a lot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, not much to, to be worried about, guys. But then we just need to consider how to convert one verb into ing form, because 
is not only adding ing. For example, how do you, how do you, what is the germ for? Just a simple, a simple one. Dance, dance. This one ends with the e sound, right? With the e spelling. I'm sorry. And then what's the the germ for dancing? So this e is change into an i and then we come we add i we add ng but then what about learn let's take a look at this one we don't we don't have a knee we simply add ing so in this case we add ing if we want to make it germ so how do i know if i delete a letter or for example the verb study study what happened to the verb study we this one ends with a y right and then uh, do we change it into an I or we simply add ing? So that's what I want you to tell me. Or other, other example like this one, the verb uh, put, what happened to this verb? Do we only add uh, ing or do we double the last letter? We say put in, do we double this one? So how do I know if I double a letter? What do we have to know about it? This verb, for example, let's see, um, prefer. So what happened to this, this verb? Do we only add uh, ing or do we double the letter r? So that's what I'm talking when I mention or when I say uh, spelling rule. This is, not, this, this is not a topic for today, but then I just want to bring this up because it is important to have an idea as to how make you know, these conversions from basic form to general forms. And then if you want to find out or uh, you know, maybe I study deeper these uh, spelling rules, I invite you to investigate general spelling rules. You will find uh, sometimes six, sometimes seven rules, which you need to consider, okay? And that's basically what I wanted to uh, say as a very short, uh, parentheses on this topic because um, we are going to study guys how to use it as a subject or in, as an object that's the topic okay and based on what we have already said general ends with ing that's for sure that's a hundred percent yes now let's study a little bit you know some sentences so we can understand it better okay let's take a look at this ones uh-huh this one the first one this is on the on the video and i want i want to ask angie angie can you read the first sentence on top this one boating uh i don't have my glasses <laughs> oh okay <laughs> interesting okay so having your glasses having your glasses Sorry. is important <laughs> Is it yeah, okay? Um, no problem. Let's see. Um, Melissa, read the, the sentence. Voting. Voting is an important responsibility. Thank you so much. We have our chair at the beginning. We don't we don't say votes. We we have voting. So this chair is working as a what? As a subject because it's, a, it's at the beginning of the sentence and voting is an important responsibility. In this case, uh, is how will you translate this sentence? I just wanna hear your ideas. So how will you translate this sentence, guys? Voting is an important responsibility. How will you say it? Votar es una responsabilidad importante. Exactly. You don't say votando, right? Very good. And uh, even though we might have heard that the ing is translated into uh, endo or ando, but in this case, this is working as the subject, we don't say it like that. We look for a noun or we look for a word that will best fit the sentence. Now, this is one voting. Can you think about one verb, make it into ing and then add a complement? like this this formula guys think about one and then you share it with me i want to say that this this journal since they are nouns or we need to use them as a third person so that means that they will always be singular 
So it must be used as a third person because it's singular noun or general. So think about one example. I'll give you two minutes and then share it with me on the chat or you can open your mic. Two minutes, think about one. I think I have one. All right, thank you so much. Go ahead and share it. Dancing is good for your health. Dancing is good for your health. I like it. You actually say it's, it's true, I think. I don't dance. I, I just pretend to dance. <laughs> but when there's a, there's, a, there's a party, I dance. Because <laughs> I don't want, you know, to be the only one who doesn't dance. So thank you so much. That's a really good one. Dancing. Anybody else? Give me more, um, give me more examples, guys, with gerunds. So what do you have? Melissa, Angie, uh, Daniel, Evelyn, uh, Emma. Uh, so what reading, do you have? Uh -huh. Reading is relaxing. I like that one. Thank you so much. Uh, so Jeffer, what do you have? Jose, reading is relaxing. I like it. Uh, studying is the best way to learn. Yeah, smoking is not allowed. Jose Peña, in that case, allowed is ED at the end. Okay, smoking, yeah, I, I like it. What about the ones who haven't shared any example? Send your examples, please. I give you one more minute. Sleeping is necessary to have good energy. All the day. During the day. Mm -hmm. Taking a nap. <laughs> Sleeping is necessary. It's a necessary action to take every day. Right. Any other example, guys? Learning to speak English is so important. Yeah, learning to speak English is very important. It's an important skill. Okay, what else do you have? Any other example? And then if you, uh, I know you can tell me many more, but then we also have that we can have gerunds as the object. Let's take a look at this one. Let's discuss improving our schools. Discuss is the, is the verb. Improving is working as the object of the sentence. Let's discuss improving. Improving, it's the object of the sentence because the verb in here is discuss. And how about the next one? I will keep fighting. Fighting is working as the object because the main verb is keep. Can we think about one example in which we don't use gerunds, I mean, in which we use gerund as the object, not working as the main verb of a sentence. Any idea that comes to your mind that you can share with the whole class? I like this one, uh, Angie. Smiling is a good way to start the day. Yeah, of course. Being grateful is a good way to start the day too. Mm -hmm. What else? Totally. Yes. Yes. Be grateful at all times, okay? Best tip I can give you, best uh, advice I can give you, be grateful. Like yesterday, my car broke down. I was so grateful. <laughs> because I said maybe it, I was gonna have an accident. So that's the way I think. And then I couldn't, I, I cannot use it anymore. So be grateful, you know, at all times. For the good and bad, for the good and bad things, right? Exactly, you never know why things happen, you know? <laughs> never yeah. know. Maybe you say, wow, why am I running late today? I don't know what's gonna happen. And then there's a reason maybe you're running late because if you have, I don't know, maybe left earlier or you have, I don't know, something might have happened to you on the way, you never know. So just be grateful and try to organize your time. Okay, what else can you tell me about it? Any other example with ING form? I love thanking God for each day he gives me. I love that. I love having an opportunity to teach online. 
So what are some other examples in which you're using the, the churn as the object of the first sentence of the, of, of the main verb? What ideas come to your mind? Gerons as the object. We're gonna go over some other uh, things that we have here, maybe then you want to share, because time it flies and I think we must, we must be practicing everyday. Okay, be practicing. We must practice every day, but okay. Good, let's see, we have some other ideas here. Another one. Uh, Emma, help me please read the example choosing. Go ahead. How do you pronounce this third word? Uh, candidate? Yes, yeah. yeah, thanks. Uh, choosing a candidate takes time. Okay, thank you so much. Eating good is the unique way to be healthy. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Take a look at this one. Something important to consider. We have choosing is a singular and we, we apply takes, takes. Don't forget that, that's important because we have to use it as a singular now. I enjoy working for the people. Do you resent playing higher taxes? Uh, do you resent paying higher taxes? Okay, so these are some other examples. Let's move on. We have some other ideas here. And let me erase this. Maybe you want to take some time to create your own examples and share them with me and with the whole class. We have some other ideas. Take a look at this one. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Melissa, can you read a uh, germ? Read this one, please. A uh, gerund is the base form of a uh, verb plus ing. Gerunds can be used, used as nouns. Gerund can be used as nouns. So these are some examples. We have the verb, then we have plus ing, then it becomes into a noun. Work, working, right? Uh, pay, paying. So what is the noun in this case? Well, how do you know it's a noun? Because of when and where it's being used in the sentence. That is what makes a difference, okay? What else? Let's see. What else do we have? Um, let's read these examples. I want to ask one more volunteer or maybe not that volunteer. I'm gonna choose it. Uh, let's see. Jose, read these two sentences on the screen, please. Okay. Boarding is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. Awesome. We have a voting and then we have choosing, right? And then they're talking about politics, as you can see here. So let's think about other things, other um, maybe actions that take, you know, take place in, in the in the society, not only about politics. We can think about other uh, topics may, or other uh, contexts or places. Maybe if you go to the school, university, so what are some things you can tell me about it? What, what is, or if you go to a hotel, what do you see? Have you seen these journals as subject? Can you tell me one more example, each one? We don't have much time, guys. So please go ahead and tell me one example each and use it as a third person, that's important. So I wanna read 11 examples on the chat. I'm gonna give you two minutes, think about one.
Maybe we can think about one like here in class. <laughs> Turning your cameras on, blah, blah, blah. Participating, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Running, oh, Gustavo says, writing is an exchange, is an exchange of ideas. Uh -huh. Running is good for our health. Yes, eating, this is what's already read. We have, I have two. I need more, come on. And I'm missing nine examples, more. I'm gonna give you two more minutes. I wanna read at least one per each. For, okay, Emma, reading is a good idea to learn about everything, yeah. Reading, I agree with that, that idea too. So three people, we're missing some, we're missing like eight more examples. And there's one instruction that I still want to go over. So please send me your ex examples. One more minute, share your example. If you don't wanna type, just think about one, open your mic and say it. Uh, Angie is sharing one more, it says, sharing quality time is a great gift. I love this example, that's true. I didn't understand this, you know, a couple of years ago and that, you know, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, sharing a quality time. One more. What about the other ones? The ones who haven't participated, why is it? Is it because uh, you don't want to or is it because it's confusing? I have Melissa's one practicing Basketball can make you grow a few centimeters. Ah, it's, oh, I have to. Pra practicing a sport helps your health and then playing basketball can make you grow a few centimeters. I didn't know this. Well, is it true? Because I think I I'm should. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. I think I heard something about it, but I'm not quite sure. Because you jump, maybe. And then you have to stretch your arms. Maybe, right? I didn't, mm -hmm. I never, I am really short because I never play basketball. So this I know. Is, good is it? Is it? Oh, yes, okay. I play basketball and I think that I, it helps. I grow a little. What's your, what's your height? Like two meters. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no. Um, one meter and um sixty. Hi, I don't remember. Sesenta. Setenta. Seventy. Sesenta. Oh, I sixty. Small teacher. I am small. Short. <laughs> I Short. am yes. one one point one point sixty two meters tall, I'm really short. I'm, 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 I'm an, I'm an, uh, what do you call it? An enano, you know, but I love, I, like, exactly, I am. but I'm happy, I'm happy, you know, it's the best thing, you know, so I'm a really like short guy. And so when I, I thought that I was gonna be, I mean, I was gonna grow up more, but no, it didn't happen. I think, um, but I love my my height, I think. <laughs> so what about you guys? Anybody else? Who's the tallest in this class? Am I the, the shortest guy? Or is there anybody else who's, I think nobody would love to share this. <laughs> or you don't mind sharing. Let me read Angie. Uh, Angie's example, dancing is a good, is good to enjoy the life. Bachara, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Any other example? Any other idea you want to share with me? Exercising is healthy for all. Yeah. I am. Uh, I was blessed this year because I work in a school week. I mean, during the day, and I am. I was assigned to teach PE. You know what that is? PE. Well, PE is a physical education, so I'm the one who's teaching that, and I love that. You see me, I'm all like, like all camado, tanned, you know, because that's what I'm doing. And I think what Jessica is saying is is correct. Exercising it keeps you active. All right, so we have nine minutes, and let's move on. There's one that I want to. There's one more idea I want to say, and well. Jerome's is not the same as uh, present progressive, never. Because present progressive is an activity at the moment, right? But Jerome's are uh, being used as a subject is not talking about any activity in progress. Mm -mm, it's not like that, okay? Uh, this is on the video, guys. And then we have uh, one more idea and I want you to create more examples. Oh, this is the one. Let's finish this guys. Maybe you have done it already, but at least let's finish this part. Complete the sentence. I know there is an audio, but I don't want to play the audio. I want you to think about how to complete these ideas. Windsurfing is very exciting. Let's start with this one. Tell me what's exciting for you, okay? No windsurfing, say something different. That's the best, that, that's the first one. What's exciting for you, Gustavo? What's exciting for you, Melissa? Having two, two lovers at the same time, is it exciting? No? <laughs> what a good example. Right. Playing soccer? Uh, you see, Gustavo is very formal. Okay, Gustavo, yeah, that's correct. No kidding, right? <laughs> okay, so what else? What is exciting for you? traveling i think i don't know i'm thinking about me what about you maybe we shared this in common what's exciting for you knowing a new place getting to many place uh-huh earning earning money it's very exciting to me <laughs> okay yeah why not making money and then boom, you get a nice car, you know, you travel, you invite someone else, and then you chill. No, yo sé que son la gente honesta, tengo aquí, se le veo el rostro, yo soy el que está hablando locuras, but ah, that's me, guys. Okay, so what else is exciting? Like, no me quieren decir nada, some you don't want to say anything. So exciting, maybe staying home, Emma, is exciting, no. Eating pupusas is, it, eating is exciting too. Eating pupusas locas. Did I tell you that once I went to Plan de Renderos and I ate pupusas from avocado and cheese? That was disgusting. You know, it sounds disgusting. It, it is. All avocado quemado, you know, all burnt out, like it, it, it turns into black. It's not even green anymore. You know, it's not disgusting. But have, I you, wanted... have, you ever, have you ever tried chocolate pupusas? No, they are very it, famous in Suchitoro. Suchitoro. Yeah. That sounds interesting. A little bit, a little bit disgusting because it's chocolate and mm -hmm. and better la salsa, more chocolate. Yeah. So. No, but you know, I, I like I like eating tortillas like calientes, hot tortillas with honey. Honey, you know, mielita on it, and I love it. I think Me I will. <laughs> I think I think I think I will. I will. I will. I will love to eat those pupusas. Sounds interesting. I didn't know they exist. You know. So what else is exciting? So Angie, you like? Uh, I like eating pan francés with with uh, miel. You know, with honey too. Oh, um, but that, that's more, that's common. Is it? I'm weird. I think so. Anything that is exciting. Uh, we only have five minutes. Let's do the following. Complete this about your uh, ideas and we'll discuss this tomorrow. 
a to murder's class by the way if i if i think i told you this yesterday i know it's friday but then um if we don't do it tomorrow we will have to do it you know in another day so tomorrow we connect we talk about this topic and you know we practice a little bit and try to think about each of them what makes you laugh what, what gives you a headache what isn't polite according to your belief or values what is popular here in Salvador, what destroys the environment. And I like this one. This is, I wanted to point it out, how to make negatives, you know, not, and then the germ, not, blah, 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 can be dangerous. So we don't say don't because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's working as a subject, not following the rules can be dangerous, not, eating healthy, I don't know, you may, you complete it. So um, any questions so far, guys? No. No questions, okay. So let's finish this class with this. What makes you laugh? Give me one idea. What makes you laugh? Making jokes. Mm -hmm. Okay, making jokes joking around. Uh -huh. I love watching this guy, Fluffy. He's, he's a comedian, he's a Mexican. So watching Fluffy episodes makes me laugh. What about you guys? We have two minutes, anybody? Watching video, viral videos on Facebook makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like this big fails, right? Big fails. Yeah. That's really common. Okay. Okay. What else? Maybe animals trying to do funny stuff. What makes you laugh? One more minute. Come on, say it. Sometimes we laugh about others, people, you know, um, maybe um, misfortunes of others. Uh, the, the, these things make us laugh. I don't know why. When we see some other people suffering or uh, into an embarrassing moment, then we laugh. I don't know why we are like this, but it's common. When you see somebody I don't know, falling down and you see that person, you start laughing, especially, I don't know, but that's, that's me. I think I'm really bad. So what makes you laugh? One more minute. <laughs> okay, don't share. It's okay, don't share. You don't wanna talk. Tomorrow you will do it, okay? Tomorrow I wanna see everybody's examples, complete this idea and then take some time, think about it, and you share it with me tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna uh, share it one more time, a screenshot this one, so you can complete it, and we'll do it tomorrow, okay? So uh, we can call it a night, have a nice night, and see you tomorrow, try to rest as much as possible. Don't uh, be mean, be good, and take care a lot, bye-bye. 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 Tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye.